Hey guys, welcome back for some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh, sorry I was away a little bit. I was on vacation! Um, vacation for a week, you know, and all that good fun stuff. What am I standing on? And uh, in this episode, uh, well, wait. <laughs> in the last episode, I mean, uh, we fought Kapamari and earned ourselves some pirate's gold inside the island. And uh, now we're going to Boom Bart Yard. Bam, 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 bam. Now, before we take a step forward, I want to say that this is probably one of like the two or three levels in this game I'd say are particularly difficult to get gold rank on. And you'll see why coming soon, but for right now, starting us off, we have um, auto scrolling. This is the first auto scrolling level I think we've seen, or maybe I'm forgetting one and I'm stupid. But anyway, we got all these boats and we have just rockets shooting at them. We also got these um, soldiers that we've seen in Treatland, but they're now blue. But, oh wait, I forgot that happens. Uh, now, there are. There's like an upper layer and a lower layer, and uh, both layers have stuff you want. So it's kind of. It, it, this level really can be difficult to um, perfect 100% on. Some of the collectibles are also hard to get, so just I just be careful here. You can grab these, but they're uh, the blast radius of these things is big enough so that even if you grab one, the one next to where it was will still hit you. So it's kind of difficult. Oh wait, I wanted to jump up there. Uh, is there a way for me to get up there? Yes, there is. Okay, good. Second chance. Ooh. All right, there we go. The treasure chest. This is an actual. This is actually a piggy bank. Don't let your pirate friends see it. Hey, that's 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 racist against pirates. Maybe there's one pirate named Captain Good Guy Beard, and he's just this swell lol dude. But then, in re but then in actuality, he has a dark side that he doesn't show everybody, and he he uh, he eats people's cats. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that was dark. It just eats people's cats. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. Ooh. The spear soldiers are a bit um, more dangerous. The little sword marine soldiers, though, are, like, harmless. Fuck you. Um, yeah, these areas up here now. These are what you want. These are where, like, the other collectibles are going to be. Ah. Uh, who... All right, those are some beads. We want to climb all the way up here and rip down Yin Yarn's Jolly Roger. And there we got the tree land music. Uh, oh, and then ooh, we want to go over here. We want it. Oh no, I can't. Yep, that. Okay, well, whatever. I may have to redo this level, and I'll show anything I miss. Yeah, this is this is probably like one of the hardest levels in the game, really. Um. And again, when I mean hard, I don't mean completing, because you literally can't fail at completing any levels. Oh, no. Yep, I missed something. Um, but this is one of the hardest levels to, like, 100% on for the first time you go to it, so just be aware of that. Um, anyway, yeah, I think there's a collectible up there that I missed, so I will have to redo this level. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, we're missing one. I think it's the one that's up there. Um, alright, so let's just keep going with these guys. Get some more beads. Ooh. Yay, I got this thing now. Uh, and then, oh! Oh, that was weird. Oh, okay. So even though there's more stuff that's tempting to go down there, you want to come up here. Ow. That was kind of dickish enemy placement, I gotta be honest. I'm gonna go over here. And get our last collectible. Okay, so I didn't miss all the collectibles, but I might not get gold rank. Getting gold rank is really the hardest part for me. Eh. Okay, we want to whip him before we can summon any of his friends. Yeah, I don't actually think we can make it because we made it up to the last point of the level with gold rank. This guy can give us enough for um, silver rank, I think. Ooh, oh, 
Dang it. Okay. So this guy just takes uh, three hits from anything, and then you can finish him off. Oh god. Yeah, yeah I don't think you can grab the biggest missile. So, this is the easiest attack to avoid. Woo! There we go. That gives us a buttload of beads, and wow, that's not even silver rank. And we didn't get the five star patch. Okay, so I'm gonna have to replay this level, but that's okay. Um, I guess when I'll replay the level and I'll show off what was in those uh, blocks you could have blown up with the uh, with the bombers. But we got the wrench patch. Woo! Anyway, before we uh, go back to Boom Ball Yard, since I camped until I throw this patch, let's see what the wrench does. Fossil Reef. How a baseball bat can help fix a submarine? You guys answer me that in the comments. There we go. This guy's just freaking out. Oh, wow, you dick! Did you see that? Wow, what a dick. You know what? Uh, that earns us some beads. So actually, yeah, collecting the treasures is a, worth, is a worthwhile thing to do if you're not like risking too much for it because they give you, I think, 100 beads. 100 beads each every time you collect the collectible. That's good. Uh, okay, wait, I wanna go back down. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, so yeah, so in each of those uh, blocks, there's like um, more beads in there. Honestly, maybe it's not worth it for getting that hurt, but if you can pull it off good, then. You might as well, because I think there was a star bead in one of those. Or it might have been mine from getting hurt, I don't remember. Couldn't tell. Ooh, okay, good. Made it up here. So yeah, up here, along with this bead floor that you get from being down there, there's extra beads up here. So this is a worthwhile route to come to. Okay. Well, you know, that happens. And there's our five star patch. So. I mean, you can get everything in one run, but it's difficult. Oh, wow, I blew it up before it, it even came on screen. That's awesome. So, that's something you can do. Destroy the giant missiles. It's easier to destroy the giant missiles with things because the bigger targets. Okay. Here we got some more blocks over here. Come on, blow up. There we go. So each block has some beads in it. And then down here, we got even more beads. So this is where you want to come if you're replaying the level for your uh, rank. There we go. And there's our gold and there's our gold rank. Now let's try to go for five stars. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, now that we're finally done with Boom, uh, Boom. I keep saying Boom. Now that we're done with uh, Boom Boatyard, I thought I was gonna re be replaying that level quite a few times, but I guess all that practice from my uh, last playthrough of this game, there was enough practice. Now let's go to Fossil Reef. This is a kind of cool level, and I like it. It's kind of fun. So first off, we got the uh, deep dive, deep music, which is always nice, and. It wouldn't be an awesome game without some nonsense water mechanics. Some nonsense water physics of just floating waters. Now, right down here, there's just this little area where you can get some extra beads. Not really it's too important. But yeah, it's it's not a great game without, you know, giant balls of water floating in place. That's like a, that's like a must-have in any awesome video game. It just is. Eh, let's impale that shit uh, that fish with our nose let's impale that fish with our nose that is 
the first and only time I will ever stay that statement. And chances are I'll, pro I'll probably end up saying it again for some reason. Anyway, there's our two-star patch. And I'm just great at enunciating today, aren't I? And whoa, okay, those are little, like, pufferfish enemies. Hey. Oop, oh. Whoop. Yeah, this always just reminds me of... I don't remember what... I think it was a Pokemon movie, or it might have just... Oh, no, no, yeah, I think it was the one with Manaphy in it. Uh, oh. Okay, you want to go over here and get the Anemone sofa. This Anemone chair looks comfy, but it feels a bit strange. Go ahead, try it. That's evil! Oh, you evil man, whoever is making the descriptions for those, for the uh, treasure items. Um, for uh, any of you who don't know, somehow, if you haven't watched Finding Nemo, um, anemones are like these, um, like, things in the ocean that fish kind of live in, like they stay in for shelter, and they basically, they kind of electrocute any, um, and, well, not electrocute, but they sting any, um, any fish that isn't, like, the fish that they home. I think they only home clownfish, though. I'm not sure, but I know for a fact they home clownfish, because, you know, Finding Nemo. Speaking of Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Um, people have been saying it's really good. It is. Trust me, like, I didn't think it was gonna be good. Like, given all these, like, sequels lately of, just, like, so many movies, some of them were good, some of them were bad. Independence Day, everyone said, was bad. I thought... Independence Day 2, honestly, wasn't that bad. It wasn't, like, super amazing, but it was all right. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, Tarzan? No. It, it's not even... It's so misleading. It's not about the original Tarzan. Well, I mean, it is, but it, it takes place after the events of Tarzan. It's, the, it's Tarzan, the, the, like, sequel thing. It's Tarzan 2. Return of Jafar. By that I mean slavery. It has to do with stopping slavery. Which isn't like a bad thing, but it's not really much about Tarzan. It's not it's not a very good movie, honestly. The first half of it is just boring as all hell. The second half of it has some cool action shots, but that's all it really has. Finding Dory though. Good movie. I, I would watch it again. It was it was really like well, I don't think it was as good as the original because you know the original still holds a like a strong place in my heart. I love that movie, but it, it was good. Uh, over here we got some fossils. This astounding fossil was discovered in an ancient sea. Beautiful. That's two fossils. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six or more. But whatever. Um, uh, description writer, you got it. Do that do. Anyway, I'm really getting off topic. I was originally talking about Pokemon. Um, it was either an episode of an anime or one of the movies. I don't remember. It It was the one with Manaphy. I don't know if that was just like a special episode or if it, it was its own movie. I don't remember. Because when I was little, I wasn't really into Pokemon at first. All my friends were, though. And then I noticed the anime, and I think it was actually the Diamond and Pearl anime, because I remember Dawn was in it. So, Or maybe it was May, and I'm just brain farting but I remember it being dumb and I watched that because there was nothing else on and I got and I got into it, and that's what got me into Pokemon and then the first day I go back into school it was after the weekend and I go into school and I'm like hey guys I'm into Pokemon now and I guess that was the time where everyone started hating Pokemon because as soon as I went in everyone said oh you oh you're into Pokemon nobody's into Pokemon anymore and I was just like Serious? Like, it was like, I was just always like, there were all these people like talking about Pokemon, things I didn't get, and I'm like, eh, I want to fit in, and then I finally get into it, and everyone's like, nope, you suck for liking Pokemon. I was just like, come on, dude. But, um, the point of the Manaphy thing was I remember that they went to a show, oh, here we got the Waterland music. They went to like a show, uh, Ash, Brock, and Dawn, I think. They went to a show, um, and it had like some psychic type Pokemon lifting some water into balls of water in the sky and then water type Pokemon swimming around through them. And it was so cool and I love that. And if that ever becomes real in the future, like when everything's all magic and, and shit, I want to do that. I want to swim in giant balls of water. That's got to be fucking amazing. That's like better than zero gravity. Well, not really, but 
No, yeah, I feel like that'd be more fun than zero gravity, actually. Because zero gravity, it's just like, eh, float. Well, no, because with zero gravity, you can experiment a lot, like eating jello in zero gravity. Think about that. Anyway. Yeah, I would recommend Finding Dory. Go watch it, it's good. Ah, oh, I didn't get the five stars. Whatever. But with that, we have 100%ed Waterland, and you know what that means, not Fossil Reef again. Alrighty, would you look at that? Here's our Waterland apartment. So there's no specialty bed for Waterland, um, like there's most of the other lands. So I guess Kirby's just sleeping on the sofa. Um, but we got our little dangler light. Um, I'm, I feel like it looks like a, more of a plush, so I just put it on there as like a snuggle buddy or something, I don't know. We got our hanging wall aquarium because I couldn't really tell if it's supposed to be something that goes on the floor or not because it looks like a bowl, but it's called an aquarium, so I don't know. Uh, we got our treasure rug. I really like that. I would want that in real life. That looks cool. Uh, we got our sun and moon clocks. Um, not in, like, in honor of any upcoming game whatsoever. No, how could you ever think that? Um, we got our totem pole in case we forget uh, what our enemies look like. Uh, we got our jellyfish light, which, you know, we obviously know that the, um, the lightning bolt is the right one to turn on the light. The star one will shock us. Let's not do that. Um, oh, I can fall off of that. Uh, and we have our pirate treasures over here by our mast, which you can stand on. I did not know that. That's cool, though. Yeah. And, uh, we got our fossil in the background for, uh, cool effect. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I still stand by that the treat land apartment was the worst one I did. But, uh, yeah. With that, now I'm officially on the carpet. That's weird. But yeah, so, uh, with that, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we'll be going, we'll be, we'll be heading off to Snowland. See you guys later. Bye-bye.